Can I tell you the story of my son? Well, perhaps more the story of his father. A good bit of what you're about to see is true as it happened. More is true, though, as to how it felt. And more than that, I suppose, is true of how it will be. Jenny, but I've already been through this box. Hi, this is Genevieve. Leave your message after the beep. Yeah, hey, Jenny. Uh, I could use some help with these photo albums. I uh, know you're busy. Anyway, um, and I. Well, you may not be able to get to it right away, but listen, give me a call when you can, okay? Thank you.
You grew up here? Yeah, but without all the clocks. <laughs> it's a hobby of his. It's always talked about turning it into a business, but usually ends up repairing everything for free. He used to be a history teacher. Professor Benjamin Whitmore Sr., that's how I remember him growing up. Where does he eat? Uh, usually at the counter over here. Mustard packets, styrofoam cups. Why doesn't he just use real glasses? He has them right here. Oh, come on. My mom. Oh, she's beautiful. She was a dancer, ballet and modern. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Me and my brother, Benny. Sweet. Mom and dad. Right here. Uh, what, what's this bed doing down here? You'll be sleeping downstairs for a few weeks. No arguments. It's, it's too noisy down here. I can't sleep down here. Is that so? Yeah. I thought you liked the sound of ticking clocks. Who are you? Hello, Mr. Whitmore. I'm Holly Christmas. Huh? Holly Christmas. Christmas Holly? No, sir. Christmas is my last name. Holly is my first name. Holly Christmas. Miss Christmas is here to help you. No, I don't need any help. You're getting stay-at-home care. It's too expensive. Doctor's orders and insurance paid for it, so zip it. Miss Christmas is staying here overnight. Well, where's she gonna sleep? Oh, I won't be sleepy, Mr. Whitmore. I'm gonna be up all night long. I'm gonna be on duty. 
and I'll probably just sit in that chair over there and maybe watch some TV. So you're gonna stay up all night? All night, making sure that you're okay. That's my job. See, I'm gonna go. I'll be back to check on you in the morning, okay? Mm. Maybe we can work on those photo albums together. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that, Jenny. Please do. Thank you, Miss Christmas. You're very welcome. Well, come on. Help me get out of this chair. Of course. Ugh. Here, let me get this blanket off. Thank you. Uh, welcome. Thank you. What about your coat? Do you want me to do it your coat? Hmm. Can I get you some more? No, I wouldn't mind if <clears throat> you're a good cook. Hmm. Well, always thank the chef. You know, uh, your daughter was showing me some of the family photos. Yeah. You're a blessed man. Thank you. There oh. you go. No, it's too much. Just eat what you can. But I don't like to waste food. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Whatever is left over, we'll just put it in the fridge, okay? How's that? Uh-huh. Christmas, get the phone. Answer the phone. Christmas. Christmas, Holly, get the phone. It's ringing. Hey, wake up. The phone. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hello. Ben Wimo, please. Speaking. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How's it going, sir? I don't know. What what time is it? This comes as a big surprise, right? But I have good news to share with you. Yes? Your son, Benny. Yeah? Benny is going home. Could, what? Say that again? Your son, Benny. Benny is being discharged today. Benjamin Whitmore, Jr. You're excited, right? Decision is not final. You got the letter? No. You moved the house? No. Hmm. Well, anyway, wonderful news, right? How soon can you get here, Mr. Whitmore? Oh, three, four hours? Okay, see you later then. Yeah. Yeah, I... Can I talk to him? Uh, no, he's asleep. Okay, uh, I'll see you later. Okay, Thank bye -bye. you.
last forever. And disappointment fades with time. How many years has it been now? Admittedly, they have blended together. But I have not given up hope. I have not given up hope, and I never will. Benjamin, He's gonna get Genevieve, <laughs> David, yeah. these are my treasures. Good morning. ID? Yeah. Who you seen today? Benjamin Whitmore Jr. You know where to go? Oh yeah. Thank you. Have a good visit. Oh, it's uh, it's not a visit. I'm taking him home. History of mental illness in the family, yes. But I never thought it would touch him. No, not him. It came and took him away. Took him away from all of us. But now, I'm taking him. Benjamin Whitmore, Jr. ID. I always wondered what form his healing would take. Would it be sudden before my eyes? Or would I walk into his room one morning and find him sitting there, healed and in his right mind? Benjamin Whitmore? Right here. Yeah, I know the drill.
Mr. Whitmore? Mr. Whitmore? Uh, Dr. Betterman. Won't you join us, please? Yeah. Uh, this way. Thank you. Please take a seat, Mr. Woodmore. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing? How are you doing, Mr. Woodmore? Uh, Nurse Nakamura, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. You gave me quite a start this morning. I called early, right? You did, you did, but I did not mind. It was such a pleasant surprise, such exciting news. <sighs> I wasn't aware that this news took you by surprise, Mr. Whitmore. Well, I've been out of touch a bit, uh, admittedly. Several months or so, at least. Uh, maybe more, three months, four. I've been having health issues which have curtailed my visits, and... Uh, yes, Mr. Whitmore. I am, uh, I am somewhat out of touch. And Nurse Nakamura mentioned there was a letter that came to me, but I never got a letter. So I'm not sure what that was about. So you need a signature here somewhere. You're Benny's guardian. So yes, you need to sign it. Okay. And um, make sure you're dated. You know, I always knew this day would come. I always believed it would happen. And it's finally here. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to take in. Weren't you the ones who told me that he would never get out of here? that he was a lifer? Dr. Bitterman, didn't you say that? Remember how you leveled with me, Dr. Dopte? That Benny's condition was just too grave, too serious, that he would never leave this hospital. And now, from one day to the next, it's like a miracle. <clears throat> I call it a miracle. Uh, what do you call it, Dr. Bitterman? Just sign the paperwork, Mr. Whitmore, please. We have other meetings to get to. So mm. I just signed at the bottom somewhere. And um, the what date. What are the page numbers? Uh, who writes this stuff? Put down the date. What is the date, anyway? Does anybody really know what time it is? It's the 13th of the month. <coughs> yeah, if you say so. You know, I was in the visitor's room just a while ago and looking at your mission statement on the wall. I notice you have it up here too, right behind me. Same mission statement. And you know, I sat there. This happened more than once, doctor. In fact, it's happened every time I've ever come here. I start to read the mission statement. I get through the first sentence. So that makes sense, somewhat. And then I read the second sentence, which does not make as much sense as the first sentence. But I read the third, and that's totally out of the ballpark, and I have no idea what I'm reading. So I go back to the first, and I try to read that as well as the second and the third, kind of get the big picture. But at the end of the day, it just kind of all runs together and puts me to sleep. Yeah. And then you realize that there is no big picture. It's just a lot of broken pieces. Mr. Whitmore, please. We're running out of time. Uh, time. So if I sign this, it means that I take Benjamin home with me today, is that right? The date. Please, put down the date. What is that? What? What is that? I'll take it to Benny now. Let's go. Sign the paperwork. You can do that later. Let's go. Ah, I remember him. Vincent Van Gogh. C'est une belle peinture, monsieur. Merci, monsieur. Sir, excuse me, sir. Can I uh, get a hug, sir? Sorry. No touching allowed. Do that with family. Not much has changed since my last visit. 
Vincent the painter. What's up, Oscar? I have a family. I've got to pee so bad. Go ahead and pee, Oscar. Oscar and his chronic need to use the bathroom. We're sitting down. Standing man, up. I don't have a family, man. Go pee, Oscar. Are you sure it won't hurt you? Sonny and another puzzle. Yeah, I have a Don't you know the family. toilet, will I? What about the roller coaster? It won't chop your head off. And somewhere in the midst of all this, my son. How is it some are stricken, others not? Broken bones will mend, but a broken spirit, who can cure it? Things, okay? I will come back with some boxes. Sure. Happy day, right? Uh, You'll be with the son again. Nurse Nakamura, arigato gozaimashita. Dou itashimashite. Mr. Wally, good to see you, sir. Good morning, Mr. Whitmore. Nurse Sekimura asked me to give you this. Yeah, thank you, thank you. It must have been sudden. What is that? Benny getting better like that. I didn't find out about it myself until this morning. I always believed he would get better, Mr. Whitmore. Yeah, I, uh, I wrote this little book about him. I've seen him with the book many times. Looks like he must have read it. Started out as prayer letters, sent to friends, people I could trust to pray for him. Seems your prayers have been answered, Mr. Whitmore. Yeah, all I ever, all I ever wanted for him was to have some dignity, you know, just a little dignity. A job of some sort, a janitor, maybe. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean no, it that way. No, I understand. <sighs> yeah, those were dark days, Mr. Wally. Dark days indeed. When was the last time you saw him? <sighs> I had a dream about him a few days ago. But dreams don't count, do they? Yeah. Anyway, we should be rejoicing, right? This is a day of celebration. Look at this. No more of this. I don't even know if I should put him in the box or in the trash can, but maybe you could give me a hand? I'm sure, for Happy to help. Thank you. 
already cold. <laughs> Sometimes I play the guitar. Sorry, I have to go. Mr. Gamoda, aus unserem Institut werden solche Briefe immer per Einschreiben geschickt. Ja gut, das ist mir ganz egal, weil wenn ein Vater seinen Sohn besucht, dann muss er in seinem Zimmer sein. Nein, das ist... Ah. Mr. Whitmore, we were just looking for you. Uh, we need you in the infirmary. Uh, let me show you the way. Attention, code oh. blue, third hey, floor. Hey, come on. Medical third response floor. team, on third floor. Something wasn't adding up. Attention, code blue, third floor. Why was Mohammed warning me? I became even more intent on finding my son. I don't want to hurt him. If I go, I hurt him, but I don't want to hurt anybody. But if I don't, then I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want to. One, one word at a time. I said he's got okay. What do you mean? When I go pee, do I hurt God? No, no, of course. Not. Are you sure? I'm sure. Just go to the bathroom. It'll be okay. <laughs> Standing up? Well, yeah. If you have to go pee, stand up. I wash my hands after, right? Do you, do you hear that? The music. You'll be all right, though. Go to the bathroom. OK, everyone. We're going to do something different today. And I think you're going to enjoy it. Oh, come in. Please. Come in. I heard the music. Of course. Of course you did. But... Want to have a seat? What's your name, friend? My name? Yes. Yes, friend. Uh, Whitmore. Ben Whitmore, Sr. <laughs> Everyone, let's give a warm welcome to Ben Whitmore, Sr. Welcome. Thank you. You know, it sounded like my son David was in here playing the piano. Your, your son David? Hmm. I could hear the music from outside. It was coming from in this room. Whitmore, do you happen to have another son named Benny? Yes. Benny Whitmore? Yes, my oldest. Of course, of course. It's so nice to meet you. I'm Gladys Pellegrino, social worker. Oh. Pleasure. Yeah, they called me early in the morning to come and get Benny. But I don't know where he is. Do you guys know Benny? You must know Benny, right? This, this, this is my son, Benny. Does this look familiar? Benny, yeah. They called me up at, I, I don't know what time it was, to come and get him that he's being discharged. Well, I'm sure he'll turn up. Yes. Here, why don't you grab a mask and show us how you feel? Like, like they're doing? Yes. Kind of reminds me of a Venetian party mask. All right, everyone. I'm going to say a word or a short phrase, and I would like you to use your mask to show us how that word or phrase makes you feel. All right? OK, here we go. Uh, childhood. Terry, you have a happy face. Would you tell us what made your childhood happy? I got that one wrong. Oh, well, then <coughs> tell us what made your childhood sad. <coughs> Everything. Everything? So, no rays of sunshine along the way? Hmm. We'll have to work on that, okay, Terry? It's all about perspective. Oh, uh, yes, Gonzalo. How may we help you? Attention. Your attention, please. Rosie 
What was that, Sydney? I, I couldn't understand you. Non fui, fui, non sum, non curo. No, you speak Spanish. Right? Yes, yeah, well, yes. That, that's Latin. Non fui, I was not. Of course. Fui, I was, meaning I was born, I came into the world. Non sum, right? Non sum? Non sum, I no longer am, I have died, basically. And then non curo, well, who cares? It's all over, it's all gone. From nothing to nothing. Epicurus, Greek philosopher of the fourth century BC. Impressive. Yeah. You f follow my teacher? Well, I wouldn't say I follow him. Uh, on a bad day, maybe, you know, depression. It's the best of a, a lot of us, I suppose. What are we up to now, 20 million nationwide? So do I understand million? you, Sydney? You're, you're saying your life does not have any purpose? My life's got purpose. Damn right. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, Jack. Very glad to hear, because we all need purpose in life, mm -hmm. right? We know some. Jack, hero. Jack. Chuck, that's not very nice. What? He annoys me, all right? Talking his foreign languages and crap. Okay. He should be in speech therapy. This, this is a mental hospital. Chuck. Right? Uh, for please. people with real problems. Come on, Chuck. Not for freaks, not right. for people like him. Sit down. Right? Right now. Not for morons, not for losers Chuck. and phonies Chuck. like this. Please sit freaks. down. Freaks. Hey, hey, hey. Sit down. Sit down, okay? Miss, miss. Thank you. All right. Peregrino? Yes, Sydney. May I be allowed to say the final word? Oh, of course. I would just simply like to say. Spit it out. Come on. Go on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Simply like to say. There's no sin like stupidity. Oscar Wilde. Oh, oh, here we go. Are you making fun of me? Muchacho. Are you calling me stupid? Okay, okay. You can't okay. even get okay. two okay. sentences out. You need all the reason they put in directions and shampoo. Spit it out. Spit it out. Oh, you ain't too much paint chips. Noise. You're disturbing the other patients. Keep it down in here. All right? Or I'll put a beating on you. Attention, code blue, third floor. Yes. Response team, okay. third floor. I know where you sleep, buddy. Okay. And right mm -hmm. where you Attention. sleep. All right, all right. Blue, Let's use our floor. coping skills. Just take a deep breath, everyone. Come on. <sighs> ben, we're having dance therapy later. Would you like to join us? I, I, I have to find my son. Let's breathe one more time. Come on. Very nice. Four cartoons, Dr. after Bitterman cartoons, before chess, chess, okay? Vamanos. That's building. it. Let's go. I love to see it. Dr. Oh, yeah. Bitterman, Gracias. please Gracias. come to Lost and mm -hmm. Found. And in between. Excuse me. Uh, you're a doctor, I presume? Uh, how may I help you? Yeah, do you happen to know my son, Benjamin? Benjamin Whitmore, Jr.? Benny! Everyone here knows Benny. A uh, very interesting case. I don't believe we've met. I'm, I'm Ben Whitmore, Sr. Doctor Alejandro, a sus órdenes. Uh, mucho gusto, doctor. Ah, hablas español. Si, sí, si. Sí. Uh, they called me really early this morning to come pick him up and take him home. <laughs> and, uh, but I, I don't know where he is. <laughs> that is curious. Yeah. Uh, maybe you could point me to the infirmary. You don't want to go there. But why not? Uh, Dr. Bitterman said I should go to the infirmary. Mire, hacen cosas muy horribles allá. Como que? Hmm? Let's see. 
Whitmore, Benjamin. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Date of birth, April 93. Schizoaffective disorder, bipolar type. Current episode, hypomanic to manic, experiencing hallucinations, delusions, paranoia, aggression towards self and others. Medicinas, clozapine for psychosis, 200 milligrams at 8 a.m., 12 noon, 6 p.m. Depakote for seizures, 1,200 milligrams twice daily. possibly get better with all those Lorazepam, medics? Lorazepam, 1 milligram twice daily for anxiety. Propanolol, 40 milligrams twice daily for impulsivity. Zoloft, 100 milligrams each day for depression. Trileptal, 900 milligrams twice daily for agitation. St. John's Wort as needed. Zyprexa, 10 milligrams twice daily for psychosis. 30 milligrams Zyprexa every night at that time. Also for psychosis. He was a normal boy. There was nothing wrong with him. I failed him. I couldn't steer him in the right direction. Animo. I thought I was taking him home. Animo, Senor Widmore. They told me to come and get him. It's time for your meds, Alejandro. Medicinas? ¿Qué medicinas? ¿De qué estás hablando? Here you go. Come along, Alejandro. It's nap time. How many times have I told you not to disrupt me when I am consulting my patients? Como que nap time? Do you know who you're talking to? Yes. Ay, Dios mío. Yes, doctor. No te vayas sin tu hijo. Alejandro? No te vayas sin tu hijo. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. The United States was at peace with that nation. And at ah, knock off the screaming, will ya? Come on! <laughs> Sit down now. Sit. Hey, hey, get back here. Sit down. How many times do we have to tell you this, Maria? Nobody likes it when you scream. All right, Gonzalo. Open her mouth. Hey! Hey, what are you jackasses doing? Leave her alone! Yeah, that's what right. I'm doing it. You gotta go! Come on! It's all up! Take your door! Attention, your attention, please. Are we Dance going to the infirmary now? Move it! The Sir! Dance therapy. Can I get a hug, hug muscle? What's your name? Sir, uh, Jeff. My name is Jeff, sir. Attention, right, Jeff. your attention, please. Move it! Visiting hours are over! You know what? The more time I hang around here, the more questions I have. Are you letting Benny go because he's better? Or you need his room for another patient? Ah, uh, come on, come on.
Austerlitz. Austerlitz. Pile the bodies high, Austerlitz. Can you tell me where the infirmary is? Shovel them under and let me work. I am the grass. What, what about Mohammed? All. Mohammed. Where, where can I find Mohammed? Shovel them on. Let me work. And pile them high at Gettysburg and pile them high at Eden. I am the grass. I cover all. Hey! Hey! Let me work. Hey! We're looking for a very tall guy with a beret. Have you seen him? Where you go? Here? Here? Come on. Shovel them under. Come on, Gonzalo. And let me work. We can't let him get away again. Let me work. Let me work. Pile the bodies. Hi. Mohammed. Come inside, Mr. Woodmore. Have a seat. Thank God. Uh, Can I get you some water? <sighs> yes, please. Uh, How did you find me? They, they were going to throw me out. Out? They sent me away without Benny. <sighs> More? <clears throat> yes. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> How long have you known Ben? Can I help you fellas with something? We're looking for that peckerwood, Ben Whitmore. Have you seen him? Nobody here but us chickens. I told you he didn't come this way. Let me do the thinking. Mr. Whitmore. You might want to get into this. Give this to you. Mm -hmm. It'll keep you out of trouble till we figure out what happened to Benny. Don't go anywhere. Please stay here.
need more angels. We need more angels. We need more angels down here on the ground. We need more angels now. Down here on the ground We need more angels now Manda Angeles Manda de Angeles Manda Angeles Your son, Benny. You should have seen him run. He was a normal boy. No. No, that's not quite right. He was extraordinary. Handsome. Athletic. His high school track coach told me he had dollar signs on his feet. That particular day, he had camped out in a neighbor's yard with our dog. And the neighbor called the police. sit in the guy's yard. <sighs> and wouldn't leave when asked. And then he pushed him, which, technically speaking, that's assault. <sighs> Look, I, uh, I kind of know how you feel. My brother had to be institutionalized. And after about 10 years or so, well, he started getting better. I think the medication helped, but he always maintained that it was his faith that got him through. And today, he leads a fairly normal life, I mean, takes his meds. <sighs> Look, all I'm trying to say is uh, that there's hope. Here, give that number a call tonight. You can check in on him.
When Benny turned 18, he was involuntarily committed here to Middlemouth. Mentally ill and dangerous, they called him. A traveling judge would come every six months to review his case. The guy always reminded me of an auctioneer, the way he talked. It was like, hey, uh, sha ba da ba bidi bi bidi bo bidi ba bidi bi bidi ba and then bang, with the gavel go on the desk. And Benny would be recommitted for another six months. Five and a half years passed. Dr. Bitterman told me he'd never leave the hospital. I couldn't accept that and began making other plans. I became Benny's legal guardian and that gave me the leverage I needed. I got him out of Middlemouth and we moved as a family to Mexico, Mexico City. Why Mexico? Mm -hmm. Have those guys been bothering you again? If they do, you come to me. I'll fix them. And your name, young lady? Maria. Maria. Mexico is far away, you know. That's the key. But I'll tell you what I think. Nobody I, cares what you think. Every door has a key, you see. Shut the key up. is the key. Shut Even here in Middlemouth. Huh. And, and once the key is set you free, you'll be free indeed. Every key has a, uh, every, every door has a key, you see, and... Please continue, Mr. Whitmore. We're all very interested. Come on, guys. Let's listen. Well, Benny went to a psychiatric hospital in Mexico City. And then after a few months, the doctors <coughs> sent him home. They thought he would do better with his family. And for a while, he did. He did do better at home. Sometimes the best cure is love, patience, peace. two local men, Samuel and Cesar, to help me take care of him. Hey, Benny. Do you want to eat? Come eat your food. Do you like it or what? Oh, yes, chico. Me antoja. Ah, me pedacito. Oh, my God. Genevieve and David, Benny's sister and brother, handled it well for the most part. They began learning Spanish, going to school, making friends. Yeah. Okay. That sounds I was asking a lot of them, I know, uh, doing all this for their brother's sake, but they adapted to their new home, and, well, I, I began to finally see a way forward. You know, there's a lot we can learn from Mexico. Like what, professor? Professor? How did you know I was a professor? Just had a feeling, I guess. Hmm. And your name, young lady? I'm Terry. T-E-R-R-I. Terry. Okay. Maria and Terry. Well, it's a warm-hearted culture, Terry. They call it calor humano in Spanish. Kind of touchy-feely, if you will. You won't easily find yourself left alone in Mexico. And you'll crowd more people into a car than you could possibly fit. Maybe you'll go over to a friend's house unannounced and stay for dinner. Maybe you'll just cry on their shoulder. They'll cry on yours. Okay, pop quiz. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Mexico? Taco Bell. I wager it won't be an ice skating rink. But that was just one of the things we enjoyed as a family. Well, maybe not David as much. 
He liked to play the piano and cook. Ah, but Mexico, lindo y querido. The people showed us great kindness. They offered us refuge, a place to gather strength. And Betty, well, Betty began to slowly recover. We went swimming in the Pacific Ocean. We rode on horses, hiked through the mountains. Okay, open up. Another one. Okay. <laughs> we moved to the Valle de Bravo area and rented a house next to Lake Cavandaro. It's quite the place. I heard it was owned by a drug lord. Uh, I didn't ask too many questions, as you can imagine. But the rent was reasonable, so we moved in and lived there for about a year. Maybe later, okay? Okay. Listen to him. Where was it? Mexico. You was in Mexico. A few miles away was a monarch butterfly sanctuary. Butterflies migrate there from Canada every winter, a distance of about 3,000 miles. It's amazing how they'll fly all around you, but never seem to quite touch you. Ah, oh, you've never seen anything so beautiful. de Bravo, it seemed I had my son back. I truly thought he was being healed. ever after. Isn't that how the story ends, Mr. Whitmore? A happy ending?
Many of you know my son, Benjamin Whitmore Jr. You call him Benny. I call him Benny sometimes too. I hope he didn't hit any of you. I got a call early in the morning to come and pick him up today to bring him home. Haven't found Benny yet, but I suppose I will. And when I went to gather his personal effects together, I found this note that he had left for me, for dad. He had written down a scripture verse, 1 Corinthians 15, 19 through 20. I, I have to believe it must have some special significance for Benny or he wouldn't have left it for me. Can I read it to you from the Bible? Would that be okay? Dr. Bitterman, is that all right? I'm gonna read it to you. This place is full of Bibles. Here's one. 1 Corinthians 15, 19 through 20. If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Preach it, brother. By golly, I think I will. It is a free country after all. It's a free You're in the chapel, so yeah. What's the first fruit? The one on top, usually a cherry. Maybe I could use an example from nature. The caterpillar, for instance. The lowly caterpillar. It's born of an egg, gorges itself on leaves and plant life during its brief lifetime, wraps itself into a cocoon, and dies. But is that the end of the story? No. Well, well, what happens next? It becomes a butterfly. A butterfly, yes. A beautiful butterfly. Yes, a beautiful butterfly. What, hey, what, what's going on here? What are you guys hey, thinking? No. I'm preaching here. I, I got it right. I'm talking. I'm Equal talking. Equal rights for hey. the mentally ill. Hey. Equal rights for the mentally ill. Equal rights for the mentally ill. Watch your pumps. Let him go. Move it. Thank you, Dr. Bitterman. As I was saying, I came here earlier today to pick up my son, who was being discharged, and I was told to come and get him, to pick him up, but I can't find him. No one knows where he is. No one can tell me where he is. Have you seen Benny? Ha have you seen Benny? Nobody can tell me where he is. Where is my son, Dr. Bitterman? Are you hiding him somewhere? Schizophrenia is an incurable disease, Mr. Whitmore. Incurable? Incurable? Yeah, Benny, of course, he is an exception. He shall rise like the phoenix from the ashes. Isn't that right, Mr. Whitmore? But go on, finish your story from before. What else happened in Mexico that you haven't told us about? Mexico? Yes, Mexico. Did you get your happy ending? Around the New Year. Excuse me, we can't hear you. The New Year. Yeah, das neue Jahr. Yeah. Genau, go on. sudden relapse. Everything just <sighs> fell apart. No one could control him. The poor
poor boy ran through town at night. Completamente loco. with a local girl he met at the church we were attending. Her name was Lluvia, Spanish for rain. Lluvia thought she could cure Benny with her love, her pure virginal love. But Benny couldn't be cured. He hit me many times. Betty, go! No! I'm sorry! Broke down doors, Don't let me go. I'm windows, sorry. hit other people. Come on, I'm sorry! Dad, I'm sorry! Let me go! I didn't want to take him back to the hospital, but how could I keep him at home? Are you okay? <laughs> We left that night for Cholula, near the city of Puebla, about four hours away. I remember stopping along the way so he could relieve himself. Samuel and Cesar eventually bound him with ropes, and we finished the trip to Cholula with Benny in the trunk. I thought I was going to die that night. There was just nothing left. us to Mexico. We were divorced by then. She had her own struggles, which made it hard for her. But she loved Benny. I know she loved him. But I was on my own. The hospital was called San Juan de Dios, founded by a religious order centuries ago. The manicomio, the insane asylum. The head psychiatrist, Dr. Gonzalez, was a good man, a good man. And nothing he tried, medically speaking, seemed to make a difference. Benny stayed at the hospital in Cholula, Two and a half years. <laughs> when I eventually did take him out of the hospital in Cholula, we went to Belize. I thought we could start life over there and live on an island, maybe. But that didn't work out. We made our way back to the States, and Benny lived at home for about six months. But it, it wasn't possible to keep him. And Back to Middlemouth, back to where it 
back to where it started. Thank you for sharing with us, Mr. Whitmore. I know it's been very hard for you and your family. In truth, your story underscores what I have been saying all along. Benny will do best in an atmosphere of therapeutic positivism, a non-judgmental space where he feels no pressure to improve his mental health through his own efforts. But <laughs> I've told you all this before, Mr. Whitmore. Sydney, could I have that hymnal, please? Thank you. Remember when I brought you a hymnal, Dr. Bitterman? Had a red cover just like this. This is not about me, Mr. Whitmore. Yeah, well, maybe it is, more than you realize. I remember hoping, praying that one of these old hymns of the faith would touch your heart, like this one. Come thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing call for songs. Hey, Professor, look out! 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 Look More. We need darker than here. If I can solve him, we'll fight him. Your attention, your attention, please. The quiet room is now open. The quiet room is now open. Quiet. Kannst du losgehen? Also wir sind fertig. Ich glaube, ich habe es jetzt wieder drauf. 
Butch. That's all. Yeah, good, okay. Okay, hold him down now. Are we ready? Hold him down. ¿Cómo te sientes, señor Redmore? Me duele la cabeza. Following ECT, it's not uncommon to experience headaches or pain in the jaw, accompanied by drooling. You may also experience some short-term memory loss. ¿Dónde estoy? You're in the patient's ward of Middle Mouth Security Hospital. Your son is Benjamin Whitmore Jr., otherwise known as Benny. Schizoaffective disorder, bipolar type. I've offered a second opinion to the hospital staff here on several occasions, but they've rebuffed me each and every time. Get in there. Get in there, damn it. You've got the wrong piece, Sonny. That piece doesn't go there, Sonny. Piss off, you quack. That doesn't fit because it was not designed to go there. It'll never fit there, idiota. Cabron! I don't want to hurt him. If I go, then I'll hurt him, but I don't want to hurt anybody. But if he's this is the piece. This is the one it, it fits. Here, it fits right here. Remind me of the definition of insanity. Oh, it's the one. My son. It's the right one. It goes there. It goes right there. Okay, okay, just relax, right. senor. Yeah, hear that. Yes. Yeah. Mohammed, Mohammed, a hand, please. <laughs> Mohammed. Yes. Can you hear it? Mohammed. Hey, hey. Put your brain in this hospital. Uh, 
Come, come back. Come back. Yeah, you, you can be my son. You, you look like him. I'll take you home today. We'll go home today. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get the same of them. I can't save any of you. I can't, I can't save you. <laughs> <laughs> I can love you, love you. I can love you, love you. I can love you. Wanka humay dwaata dhuq soo gart. Adi wilka harjena ena ku sabartu. A different spirit came over me that day. I had not found my son, yet I could see him. I was with him, and he with me. <laughs> I did it! I did it! <laughs> Way to go, Sunny! Great job! Sonny you Miller. did it! <laughs> Let's bring this to the arts and crafts room. Now? Yes, come with me. <laughs> Muy bien. Muy bien. Kenny Miller, departure gate 29. How are you feeling, Mr. Whitmore? Your attention, please. I have a headache. Oh, that's perfectly normal. Don't be alarmed. We have some pills for you. It's a lot of pills. They're necessary, I'm afraid must be really sick. I've seen worse cases. Go ahead. I'll make you feel better. Medice cura te ipsum. Physician, heal thyself. I never said I didn't believe, Mr. Whitmore. I only said, how can you know? Perhaps you would like to stay in your son's room tonight. Hmm? But that's not possible. Well, doesn't it say in the good book that there are many rooms in the father's house? Hmm? This, this ain't the father's house. No, let's not be overly judgmental. Hmm? Um, about my meds, Dr. Bitterman? Yes. I think I should go back on the Risperdal. Uh, 30 milligrams twice a day? I was thinking the same thing, Dr. Alejandro. Might want to try 40 milligrams, though. And we can tweak the lithium. Hmm. Up or down? Well, slightly up, I think. It can be difficult finding the right balance of meds. It'll be all right. I don't know. I sometimes have terrible bouts of depression. Dark, troubling thoughts que me traen al límite. Algunos dicen que estoy loco. You care about people. You care about your patients. I do, yes. I do. I really try. I do. I yes, really I do. That's the best kind of doctor there is. Hear that? Okay. Hear that? Hear that? Knock it off. 
You sound like a broken record. Hear that? Look, I'm having a conversation here. Go on, beat it. Hear that? What do you hear, Arthur? Birds. I don't hear no birds, Arthur. Birds are singing. Your attention, please. Ben Whitmore, Sr. Paging Ben yes, Whitmore, Yes, I do hear them, Arthur. I do. I didn't know birds sing in winter. Ben Whitmore, Sr. Chickadees. Gate 17. Chickadees sing in the wintertime. Ben Whitmore, Sr. Paging Ben Whitmore, Sr. Departure Gate 17. He's calling you, Mr. Whitmore. Death, be not proud, though some have called thee mighty and dreadful. It is not so. Look at him run. Dollar size on his feet. Good man, Mr. Wally. Only one is good, Mr. Whitmore. Only one. Yeah. Here you go, Mr. Whitmore. Gladys, thank you. De nada. Terry? Terry, what's wrong? I wish someone was looking for me the way you look for your son. Someone is looking for you, Terry. Someone's looking for all of us, all the time. <laughs> Take this. Thank you, Sonny. Give it to your son. <laughs> for the journey. Thank you, Jack. Can I? Consider it a carry-on. How will I find him? We will find you, Mr. Woodmore. Just keep a steady pace. What do you think Benny might have been, Mohammed? I don't know, Mr. Woodmore. I can't say. Uh, no, thanks. I'll see you on the other side. As it happened, as it felt, as it shall be.
where can I go from your spirit? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. Poi vidi un nuovo cielo e una nuova terra, poiché il primo cielo e la prima terra erano scomparsi. Non lo hanno. Io ho detto che il cielo è stato fatto, perché il cielo è stato fatto. Io ho detto che il cielo è stato fatto. Voici la demeure de Dieu avec les hommes. Goodbye, son. Vi un cielo nuevo y una tierra nueva, porque el primer cielo y la primera tierra pasaron, y el mar ya no existía más. Y oí una gran voz del cielo que decía, He aquí el tabernáculo de Dios con los hombres, y Él morará con ellos, y ellos serán su pueblo, y Dios mismo estará con ellos como su Dios. Enjugará Dios toda lágrima de los ojos de ellos, y ya no habrá muerte, ni habrá más llanto, ni clamor, ni dolor, porque las primeras cosas pasaron. Ni clamor, ni dolor, porque las primeras cosas pasaron. 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 Las primeras cosas pasaron. He fell asleep soon enough, but then he woke up. I don't know what time it was. I get so confused with all of these clocks. I found him down the hall trying to take a picture out of one of those frames. It took a bit of talking, but I was able to get him to lie back down. Hello? I didn't hear the phone ring. Who's he talking to? Speaking. Dad. Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there, thank, thank you. Who was that? The, the hospital. Dr. Knight? Uh, Benjamin. Benjamin? Dad, who calls Benjamin? They're discharging him. They want me to come pick him up. I need to Dad, change. just... Go lie down, please. Now the dreams make sense. Who's this? My brother Benny, he's, um, he's, 
schizophrenic. We haven't seen him for four years. The last time he was discharged, he ended up on the street. And so now we don't even know if he's... Oh, you've been through an awful lot, sweetie. Yeah. An awful lot. <laughs> Over here. Over here, Dad. Over here. For those whom you think you overthrow, die not, poor death, nor yet can you kill me. You are slave to fate, chance, kings, and desperate men. And with poison, war, and sickness dwell, and poppy or charms can make us sleep as well, and better than your stroke, why then do you swell? One short sleep passed. We wake eternally, and death shall be no more. Death, you shall die.
can't. You can't. Just do it more. You can't. I'm dying. I'm dying. You're not dying. Just keep your eyes. Look at me. Look at me. That's right. Stay with me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm here to see Daniel Cruzen. Okay. And your ID, please? Yeah. Here you go. You know where you're going? Uh, yes, sir, I do. All right. Have a good visit. Thank you very much. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Dad. How you doing, Daddy? I miss you so much. Woo! <laughs> I miss you, too. I miss you so much. Would you like to go for a walk, Dad? Will they let us go for a walk? Of course. All right, well, let's go. Let's go. Basketball. Play basketball. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to try to beat you this time. <laughs> Let's go sit down over there. Okay. We'll sit down here. Yeah, that's good. No, oh, that's okay. Well, I used to play this one when you'd go to bed at night. Oh. In the desert, a flower oh, grows. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's yeah. good. You remember that one? Yeah, I do. In the desert, a river flows. In the desert, a flower grows. In the desert, God makes a way. Wait and see. He's bringing forth a new day. A new day. Has your youth just flown away like a lovely bird that would not stay? Do you feel you can walk no more? Lift your eyes. He's at the door waiting for you. 
In the desert a river flows In the desert a flower grows In the desert God makes a way Wait and see He's bringing forth a new day Let's do the one about the youth Has your youth just flown away like a lovely bird that would not stay? He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. 